An emotional evening at a local bridge. It was on the Homestead Grays Bridge two months ago that a mother jumped to her death after leaving three young children in a car. Tonight, it became a place to raise awareness about suicide prevention. Pam Serrano is live in Homestead right now with what organizers are asking for. Pam. Yeah, Kim, those affected by suicide say Pittsburgh bridges should have prevention fences, especially tall ones here, like the Homestead Grays Bridge. And now Homestead police say they, they respond to a lot of suicide calls here and a lot of suicide attempts. And they also say that those prevention fences would help a lot. Prevention specialists say any deterrent at all can save lives. We need to open up and let them know we're here. We're here to talk. And that's exactly what organizers of this suicide awareness event are working so hard to do. Chalk for Change knows heartfelt messages telling others you are loved and to ask for help may prevent a tragic loss of life. It's a message Teresa Monroe shares with her daughters daily. We see a lot of young people, 12, 13, 14, even taking their lives. And I think that's so sad. None of us would have never thought the shoes going through this. So it was like, it was really a shock, but definitely to me. And I, really, I would have never thought that my sister would have killed herself. Six years after Amaria's 23-year-old sister jumped from the Birmingham Bridge, the hurt and anger she feels is still so deep. Amaria desperately wants others to know the pain of suicide is passed on to those left behind. I was just sad for a very long time. Those involved in suicide awareness say bridges can present an opportunity to those with feelings of sadness and desperation. This bridge was where Stanley Holbrook decided to jump and leave her children in the vehicle um, when she lost her battle with mental health. Uh, since then, three other people have attempted unsuccessfully, thankfully, to take their life as well. Organizers handed out crisis literature on the bridge, and police, too, say it's happening so often, they are also urging leaders to erect suicide barriers here. There's nothing here that says, hey, we're here for you. There's no support system in place here at this bridge specifically. Now, the officer that stopped to talk to organizers tonight was here the night that Stanley Holbrook jumped from this bridge. He says he has been here many times before and does agree that those fences could be part of an intervention process. Now, Chalk for Change is available 24 7. We'll have a link to them on KDK.com. We're live at the Homestead Grays Bridge tonight. Pam Serrano, KDK News.